Good evening, campers. It's me, Kieran, as part of Plek. We read maps of our spectacular bodies. And you know what? I hated it. I don't care that loads of people love it. I... I... Let me explain. This is Maddie Mortimer's debut novel, which centres around Leah, who has cancer. This is actually the second time that she's had it. And really talks about well look this is a cancer narrative you, you know what's going to happen at the end you know what you're expected going into it see case sarah sarah you don't have to read it to know what's going to happen that aside what is this novel doing that other novels of the past have not done well mortimer takes the concept of cancer breaks down the body to the point where the illness really sits on top of the person you can't distinguish the person from their illness and so what that equates to is that the body of this book begins to break down visual examples incoming so not only is the prose broken down in fragments and you get you get things like dripping all down the floor we have the choral voice of cancer we'll talk about that being hidden so that the font diminishes and th this handwriting that gets smudged a bit oh where's that one you get oh for something monstrously large it's like yeah i get it you know it's i have chosen examples like early on but this Played with font, with form, with structure, continues throughout. And although as the cancer becomes more riddled throughout Leah, it becomes a cohesive whole, uh, this, this just borders gimmick. This just borders gimmick to me. Had this not been long listed for the booker, if I had picked it up in a bookstore, flicked through, I would have seen all of this and gone, mm, nope, I'm okay because I don't have to like it. But I'm aware there are a lot of books who do this and there are people who absolutely adore writing like this. And if I be completely clear, I think there's only been one example where this structural formatic change has worked and that is Maxi Danielewski's House of Leaves. Now, before anyone comes at me, I was invested in that book and I went out and bought the first two volumes of his I think it's like a 15 part series The Familiar and like bailed that after the first book no no thank you Danny Lewski I'm full I then decided to pick up and it was only because it was a second hand copy and it was like four pound of a hardback of the 50 year sword and um I read it but all of these stylistic changes that Mortimer's do, it just, like, detracted me from all the characters. I didn't... I didn't care. I thought Ida was the most interesting. But Ida is almost, like, Disney-fied. Like, she, like, she's got her stuff together. Like, she knows what's going on. Like, she can say the right thing at the right time. Uh, consistently. Let's look into the mirror verse. What about people who say the wrong things at all the wrong times? Uh, bring in cancer themselves. Who... Oh, cancer. Cancer could clearly have a spin-off cameo as one of the email recipients within Sally Rooney's beautiful world, Where Are You? I'm not entirely sure how cancer has encyclopedic knowledge and equally understands and can recount like the past events of Leah's life um a, an interesting choice to have cancer narrate and for it to be this choral embodiment of Leah um I could see it working for some people but um uh, no. It also doesn't help that Cancer's monologues or soliloquies, whatever you want to call them, are, are cryptic at best. If, if this strand of Cancer got into the Riddler, even he would have an existential crisis not knowing what is even trying to be said. The whole thing to me 
is jarring. Look, 50 pages before the end, I put this message in my Discord. I was right! I was spot on! I kind of knew everything that Mortimer was going to do because she... She she did what she set out to do. I really don't like it. I don't care. Uh, I know people have absolutely loved this. They found, uh, you know, a new narrative voice that they're interested in. Like, good on you. I didn't, I didn't like, I dis, I, I detested. I detested reading that. And I knew what was going to happen. And it happened. And I was like, well. I read a book for the long list. Um, I'm giving it a one.